I have two users logged into DMG here, and each of them at their dashboard. Uh, so notice this is Bob's dashboard. He's our worker B. Uh, and in this other browser, I have Marco's dashboard, uh, who's going to play more of the manager or project leader. Um, <clears throat> they both have similar dashboards with things that uh, set up to actually help with this demo. Uh, they have the DNG specification or module uh, listed under specifications, the RTC plan uh, that is controlling this work, uh, and then they have a couple of boxes showing them to do things. So we're going to start live with Mark. Uh, he's going to actually go look at the RTC plan. I'm going to have him open it in a separate tab. Now, this is the release plan for um, what's going to happen now in the next week. They're doing weekly releases. And notice there's three to-dos, and they're all unassigned at this point. And we are in Marco's area. He's the project leader. So he's going to start the work. And he's going to say we need to do the update sensor package first. Uh, we'll give that to Marco. Uh, so that is now handed off to Marco. I, I, I mean, Bob, yeah, sorry. I gave it to himself. Let me uh, let me drag that right back up and give it to Bob. So Marco is signing to Bob, and Bob being the worker B should get that now. So let's switch back uh, to Bob's dashboard, do a refresh, and we'll see he's now got one task in progress. Let's update the sensor package. So the first thing Bob is going to do is just go take a look at that work item. What is this update sensor package all about? Uh, we need the oil sensor spec to say it's digital. Uh, and we need to add a gas sensor that is digital as well. So we need requirements updating our sensor package uh, to be digital and have an additional sensor. All right. Bob is perfectly comfortable doing that. So he's going to open up that spec, and he's going to look. And sure enough, uh, we have an oil sensor that does not specify digital. Uh, so that's the first thing he's going to do is get ready to change that. Ah, Bob, Bob is currently sitting on the modern tractor stream. First thing he'll do is create a change set. And he'll call this upgrade sensor. So upgrading the sensors, he's now got a change set that is going to gather whatever changes he has to make. Well, so I thought I did, but Switch was giving me only streams. So Switch. Yeah. And select, yeah, from here. Uh, you should be in See, the requirement. Yes. Because you are in the global configuration, you should switch ah, to the requirement. Right. Thank you. Thank no you, problem. Bart. Yep, change sets. There we go. I'm going to switch to my change set that I created. Yeah, you can tell Bart does this more often than I do. Okay, and this is what I'm looking for here. I'm now in the context of a change set so that any changes I make will be isolated and not put on that stream. So I've got a task here that is controlling what I'm doing, told me what I'm supposed to do. I'm going to indicate I'm starting development. Uh, if I wanted to be nice, I would give an estimate of two hours. I think it'll take me. Uh, I'll do that. And in my spec, I'm now going to make changes. So I have an oil sensor that needs to be digital. So I will change that. And I'm supposed to add a new one, which is a gas sensor that is, I'm going to do it from the menu here, insert a new artifact after, and this is the system shall have a digital gas sensor. All right, so I'll switch back to my work item real briefly. Did I really do that? Upgrade oil to digital and add a digital gas. Well, I have done that. Modified one requirement, added a new, and notice I'm still in the context of my, um, my change set here, not putting this work on the stream. Uh, I've done what I think I need to do, so I'll go back to my work item. 
and I'll say we're ready to start the review. And since Marco assigned that work to me, I'm going to go make him the reviewer. Fair enough. He made me do the work. I'll make him do the review. So I've created Marco as an approver. I have indicated, in fact, that uh, it's ready for review. Uh, and in fact, I think I'll assign it to Marco just so that he now owns that work item as well. Let's switch to Marco. We'll go to his dashboard. We'll refresh it and we should see, yep, Marco now has a pending approval. It's ready for review. Uh, he needs to go look at these changes and decide whether or not they are appropriate. Uh, first thing I'll do is I'll open up the spec again. Uh, notice that Marco up here, the current configuration is the stream. None of that work has been released back to the stream. Marco's going to go review it by switching to that change set. which he can find generally here, right? Go through and look at all the change sets. I'm gonna cancel that or he can start, you know, let me go back to his dashboard. He can start from the work item. If he's on the plan, that work item should be owned by him, update there. He can open the work item here. Oh, did I link it? I didn't link it, did I? Go back to Bob. I forgot to link that. Tractor specification. I'm still in upgrade sensors. Yeah, so this is something that Bob should have done and forgot to do. Link to a work item. That makes it easier for his uh, compatriots to follow what he's doing. Uh, Grade. So, Upgrade sensor package is the work item I actually want that change set associated with. Bob has done that. So now Marco, if he goes to the work item and refreshes directly from the work item, he can jump to that change set. So he can search for all the change sets that are out there and find it, or he can just go to the work item that's tracking this work and say, I need to go look at that work. Uh, the first thing he's going to do, right, take a look and see, is that the work item? It is. Okay. That is good. Okay. We needed that. So from the tractor specification, we'll go back, uh, change set. And as that was one of them that was listed, if there were multiple, the answer is yes. He wants to go look at that upgrade sensor. Now notice the changes are here, digital gas sensor, digital oil. This is Marco, he's now in the same context of that change set that Bob did, and he needs to review this to see if it was done correctly. So he's gonna compare what Bob did with what's still on the stream. There's a couple of steps here. First step is going to tell me that there's no difference in the component properties. Bob didn't have to change any component properties. Bob didn't have to change any folders. Uh, but here, in the change set and not on the stream, there's a new work item, digital gas sensor. Down here, things that have changed the system shall have a digital oil sensor is part of the changes as well. And I can look at this and see, right, digital was added to the oil sensor. If I open tractor specification, I can see the overview from the module. We have added a digital gas that wasn't there originally, and we've changed oil to digital. So I can look at them individually. I can see which ones are brand new which ones have changed, and I can get the overview that shows me the big picture. And I'm looking at that, and that is exactly what the work item said to do. So great, I'm going to go approve that work. I will say 
you can start the deliver on the approval. I'm going to say that's no longer a pending. That is approved. I'll save it. Uh, maybe I'll give it back to Bob as well so that I know he's got the work item. Now, I could have done a formal review in DNG before doing the approval here. For those of you who know DNG, I could have set up an approval specifically for those artifacts and had it done through the formal approval. Uh, at this point, Marco has told Bob it is okay for you to deliver that. So I'm going to go back to Bob's dashboard, refresh it, and we should see in his ready for deliver that is now identified as, yep, ready for delivery. Uh, that's his task 106, ready for deliver. Okay, that was the change set. If I look, the change set that was upgrade sensors, perfect. I'm still in upgrade sensors here. I'm going to do my deliver deliver this work to the stream, having gotten permission to do that. I'm going to do an express deliver, which says, unless there's conflicts, just deliver this to the stream. I'm fairly confident there are no conflicts. Uh, delivering that work to the stream. Now notice Bob is back, if you look up here, back on the stream. He's no longer in his change set. And there his changes are digital oil, digital gas. Let's switch back to Marco. Marco can come to the stream. Oop, let's switch Marco to the stream. Let me do a refresh here. There we go. Marco is back on the stream. And sure enough, Marco has verified that the delivery has been done. So the change set in this case was used to isolate the work until there was a review of some sort done. Now there's lots of reasons to use change sets, um, this being one of them. Let's go take a quick look at history on this stream. Open history. I'm going to switch to the audit history. And we'll see upgrade sensors has recorded a number of changes. And I can see what each of those are if I want to expand these to see the details. So this is now part of our history. And they are all recorded against that one change set, which is good. 